Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and today I just want to share a quick tip with you about how to integrate an XY controller like the Korg NanoPad into your, uh, into your setup. We're going to take a look at uh, motion keys. One of the features in motion keys is that you have four zones and I'm noticing a lot of contact libraries now, including like multiple voice engines uh, or sound engines that you can use this XY uh, controller uh, principle to blend and mix and perform. I've got a Korg NanoPad here and I've had this for quite a while and I've not really integrated it or understood uh, you know quite how to use it until uh, motion keys kind of push me into really finding out how to do this. And so let's just take a look. Uh, you have you know the XY controller and then you have like 12 pads and you, you also can con assign the pads not only just to note numbers but also to continuous controller messages but we're going to focus today just on the XY uh, functionality here. Here you see uh, motion keys and I've got uh, uh, let's just pull up like the uh, just the default sound the first sound here um, a little mystery. Okay there you go and you see that the uh, the XY control is in the center so that kind of gives you an equal mix of all the sound uh, source engines here. But if I would go and take this, uh, take it, take my mouse, you see it mixes. It's like a mixer. It's like a, it's almost like a three-dimensional mixer, or or a two-dimensional mixer at X Y. <laughs> and then if you hit play, there is a pre-programmed. Um, So that gives you a little animation. A little... Yeah, so that gives you a little motion. But what if we can just, what if we can put our hands, what if we can put our hands on that? <laughs> and that's where the XY controller comes in. What you have to do, you have to map the, uh, the, the MIDI controller that controls the XY pad. And um, so I've used a program called Bohm MIDI Translator that allows me to set up virtual MIDI ports so I can not only use it with uh, motion keys or my controller setup, I can also uh, hook it into the, con the core control editor which allows me to reassign continuous controllers and assign values to the pads and, and how that behaves. The reason that I, that I love using Bohm MIDI Translator is that it allows me to interconnect uh, my Studio Logic Master Controller, uh, my Arturia Microlab, uh, the D9X controller from uh, GM Labs, uh, Genuine Soundware, and my Nano Controller. And I use the Nano Controller to transport and mix and automate as well. So uh, the Bone MIDI Translator is indispensable uh, for me to be able to interconnect and create virtual MIDI ports and because the Korg editor will not share ports uh, and so having this virtual port created allows me to edit the, the controls on my nano uh, pads and nano control without having to sacrifice closing and opening different MIDI ports. When I have the uh, control editor pulled up I can see that I have uh, global controls, uh, common controls here and I've uh, disabled the touch release and uh, because if you I had this on and when I would touch it, it would it would like send a note a command which would re-trigger the XY uh, automation, which you didn't want. But what I did, I assigned the X to continuous controller 12 and the Y to continuous controller 13. And why is that so important? Well, it's because learning does not work when you're using the XY controller. So I'll demonstrate. So I already have it assigned to CC12 and CC13, but if I hit learn to uh, to get the Y value, going to hit learn and watch. I'm going to go up and it instantly goes to 12. So I'm going to try it again and it's 12. The first the first command that that seems like it, it's being received is, is 12 and I can even go to CC here and of course it's going to it's going to be 12. So that's why it's so important to know that that what number that's assigned to. And uh, right now it's 12 and 13, but uh, but that may change. That just gives you an option. So now that we have the controller assigned correctly, let's see how we can record that automation in so we can take advantage of that. So we're gonna hit play and we're gonna hit record and I'm gonna hold a note down 
as I move the controller. And I'll do some really interesting. And you wait until that progress bar moves and stops. stopped now let's hit play and this will play back uh, the the XY automation that we just recorded yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a lot of fun that's a lot of fun so this is just the tip of the iceberg with what you can do with the uh, with the XY controller and with the nano pad, it's just, it's incredible. So it will, un it will unlock so much potential uh, in performing. Uh, once you, once you get your uh, head wrapped around how it works and how to get it integrated into your setup, uh, it's really a powerful tool. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe and notification bell. And uh, because I'm so excited to be able to bring these, uh, these fun tips with you. And I love to share my discoveries with you as well. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, just please leave them below. And I'll have links to uh, everything we talked about in the description below as well. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.